Prepare the hose using procedure 1100, general preparation instructions. Measure the hose outside diameter with a diameter tape and select the correct fitting using procedure 1002, brass reusable fitting selection. Remove the ferrule from the fitting. For hose splicers, remove both ferrules. Making sure the hose end is cut square, slide the ferrule over the hose until it contacts the hose end. Place a mark on the hose at the end of the ferrule. Lubricate the shank of the fitting. Place the hose with ferrule in a vise, in either a horizontal position or vertical position as shown here. Do not over tighten the vise as this can cause the ferrule to become out of round. Thread the stem into the ferrule. Notice that the fitting is being threaded two to three turns, then backed out one turn. Using a wrench, continue the sequence of two to three turns in and one out. This allows the hose to relax during the insertion process and remain fully inside the ferrule. When installing hose splicers, the process is basically the same only it is easier to do. This is because the ferrule of the first end is held in the vise and now the ferrule of the second end is tightened onto the stem. With the second end, follow the two to three on, one off pattern, making sure the hose rotates with the ferrule as it is being installed. Continue the installation sequence until the fitting touches the ferrule. With the fitting still in the vise, measure the distance from the mark on the hose to the end of the ferrule. If the distance is one eighth of an inch or less, the installation was successful. If the distance is greater than one eighth of an inch, remove the stem from the ferrule, push the hose back into the ferrule, and begin the installation process again. Once the fittings have been successfully installed, test the assembly using procedure 4000, general hydrostatic testing information, and procedure 4001, general hydrostatic testing. Dixon, the right connection.